Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell for more videos. Enjoy your reading. Am I really someone who needs intimate lingerie? She was trying to protest from that, from those things the system was giving her. Maybe it's your partner's needs. So the system is like, I don't know. Maybe your partner has then edit. So this is her now thinking of Shuangguyong. Like a beast. That image was way too much. We absolutely can't let this resurface in the real world. So she was hiding it inside the, the open space. That previous thing was too inappropriate compared to lingerie. This is the best reward. So the system gave us some rewards. Every day essential, essentials I've been craving for. So she got some seeds, some mirror, and some sanitary pads, and some toilet paper. She's really happy and excited about that. So while well, she's celebrating, we can see the husband coming back. Whoa, the feel of toilet paper is so familiar, so touched. I don't need leaves anymore. We are back. So here they are. Oh guys, this is now the beginning of our new chapter. Hey, what is this so soft? It's called toilet paper. We can see that the female baby is always with Shang Wei-yun. She really likes uh, the father. So Shang Wei is now curious about the toilet paper. So now she's whispering to him how to use it. This is how he should use it. Using something so precious to wipe you behind. He was like, <laughs> how can you do that? I have plenty more here. Feel free to use as much as you want. So, so for Shamoy and this was just like, it was a waste of a product. Since it's so valuable, maybe wear it like a scarf instead. But it's so, it's valuable, but it's not so valuable. But of course, this is Shamoy on. The little female always has many secrets. It's best not to dig too deep. So, uh, Shang Ye and Baidi, they were looking at each other, agreeing to something. They did not really talk about it, like... No matter where Huan Huan comes from, we will spoil her, love her, and keep her for forever happy. Daddy Baidi! I think Baidi is the favorite dad in this story. These are new seeds. Before winter arrives, let's plant them in the ground. They are all cold resistant winter crops. So she's presenting those seeds to them. Way thrilling. But all the land at the foot of the mountain is already used for veggies and fruit trees. So Sange just telling her there's no more space to plant those seeds. Aren't there some unused hillsides next to the Rocky Mountain? Can you plant crops on the mountain? So now she's thinking of where to plant them. We can terrace it splitting the mountain into two parts. So maybe cutting some trees. The upper part of the fruit trees and the lower part. We will create a terrace field one layer after another. Then we will bring the mountain stream 
and point down to the fields. I don't understand what she is talking about, but let's see how it will happen. But of course, Baidi just agree with her that it's a good plan. And Sangye also, let's start developing the terraced fields while winter is not here yet. Of course, as I said, they all agree to her idea. Great! I will get our tribe members to start tomorrow. And Shongwen, as we know him already, is excited, ready to start working. We can hire people from the rabbit tribe or the wild horse tribe and pay them with lapel shares. So there are some heated discussion between the housemen. We can also call the beast from the temporary residence to join in. So now they are making some plans on how to work. Ho ho, let them do the work. I'm going to enjoy cuddling with my babies. So I know they're spending some time with the kid. You've grown up quite a bit, big sweetie. How about a braided hairstyle? Mommy can do that for you. Wear hair. This baby doesn't have any hair. But let's see. Great. Check this. Is it pretty? We can see now, we can distinguish her from her brothers. And it does look nice. And then suddenly, as I said, thrilling is never far. This is him now appearing, complimenting the baby's hairstyle. What is this? It's a mirror. You can see yourself very clearly in it. That is small mirror. I'm giving it to you as a thank you gift for helping in Sun City. So the old mirror she has is going to give it to to thrilling. One thing to thank him for what he did for her. Not bad indeed. It shows my perfect face clearly. Much better than the red crystal. I don't know if I should tease you about your vanity or be amazed that you'd use a red crystal as a mirror. The mirror is so valuable. What should I give you back? Some peace of mind. It isn't anything too precious. No need for a gift in, his, in return. Of course, he will try to give her something in return. In exchange, it in the shop with 20 green crystals. It's really not expensive. So... Swelling was just looking at her, contemplating her, contemplating someone apparently he can't get. Well, it's the thought that counts, right? How about I give myself to you as a gift? <laughs> so now he was hugging her. Swelling is too daring. I don't want that. So this is her now pushing Swelling away. Like she doesn't want him. Why not? Juan Juan, why do you always seem to dislike me? This bothers me. Where are the other husbands? This is an harassment. So guys, I think this is the end of this chapter. That's all for this chapter. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell for more videos. Bye!